Um, no, Callan with suspension. Um, what's the plan there? Um, is Scott ready to, to come back in and, and start? Yeah, Scott is trained uh, fully with the group, so hopefully we can get him on the park uh, and we won't have to push Payne out to the right-hand side. Yeah, how much of a setback is it losing Callan? I mean, he's had, been having a pretty good season. Yeah, he's been uh, consistent for us uh, so far this season, so it's disappointing that uh, obviously he's suspended for this game. Uh, but it's good that it's happened uh, early, so that we get that out of the way. Uh, there's still a, a few rounds to get to round 21 before they all get wiped, so uh, like I said, for us, Cal has been uh, fantastic and he's been consistent. And uh, like we said, but we'll pay the after we'll slide across and uh, Scotty will step in. How do you think Yarn went against Western United? It was a pretty spectacular goal and probably might have been waiting a, a while for, for him to pull something like that. Yeah, look, I think it's good for Yarn now, who'll get a good run of games to build that consistency. Uh, I always knew he was a good player. Uh, you can see in the touches and, and the things that he does and, and obviously getting rewarded with a goal has probably helped his confidence as well. Yeah, because why do you think it's taken him a bit longer to settle in to some of the other players and, and do you think that early red card may have... Contributed? Yeah, look, uh, obviously being suspended after that first game and then, you know, we need to have a bit of consistency, I believe, within the team. And it was hard for him to sort of like get back in and get game time. Uh, the team was a little bit up and down at that stage where I think we were, might have won a game or we've lost a game. So it was just to find that consistency and he probably hadn't had the op opportunity to do that. And now, like I said, I think we're coming to the back end of the season and hopefully he gets a good run of games and he can showcase what he can do. Yeah, because how much will that help the team or boost the team that you've got another player that can do what he did against West United? You know, yeah, it's, it's, uh, we brought him into to be able to do that. So, And I think he's got good combinations with uh, BK as well. Well, uh, I think they combine well together, so hopefully they can, uh, you know, push the team forward. Because what's been sort of the messaging with him? Um, I don't know how the conversations go with this um, English, but um, in terms of just saying, like, you know, I do have faith in you. Like, um, yeah, what, what have you sort of? Well, the confidence is always there, put towards the players, uh, you know, with the with uh, with the team so for me it's just we want them to go out there and use the attributes and, and use their ability the best that they can uh, and get in those positions to use them more often and I think that's something that we did well against Western United uh, and hopefully we can do that uh, for the next games as well uh, if we don't want to do it in patches uh, I think uh, the Western United game was a good game in the sense that we did uh, both sides of the, of the game well, where we did well with the ball and I thought we also defended quite well for for the full full game. Uh, I think we've had moments where we played really good football and then we've, we've tapered off and let opponents come back into the game, so that's something that I believe we need to continue. In terms of injuries, any fresh injuries heading to the No, no injuries whatsoever, uh, just the same faces at yeah. the moment. How far away is Costa? Uh, Conch is going really well. Uh, hopefully we can get him with the with the team in next week and he might be available for that game. Can you explain the Conchie nickname? Is the I don't know. I don't, the all, I know all I know is uh, his nickname is Conchie and that's why we call him Conchie. Yeah. I don't know the reasoning behind it. And um, how important is it to, to win this game um, considering how tight the, you know, the table is? Yeah, every, every game is important at the moment. Uh, there's no easy games. Every game is a big game at the moment. The table is very close and for us I think to, to push forward and, and really try to in a spot in the in the top six and even push towards that top four I think this game is very important for us to walk away at three points yeah and it was quite a heated um, finish to the last game against the, the Mariners is, it, is that something that's just in the past or are you expecting that to be a no, it's just game? in the past uh, the boys know what they need to do and what's required from them uh, on game day so that's just in the past yeah and um, we've been seeing Sam Sutton gradually get some more minutes um, are you Looking at starting him again, or yeah, you happy with the way Lucas is sort of going? Well, I think uh, Lucas has been going well. I think he's been performing well. Uh, Lucas was a little bit uh, sick before the Western United game. That's why I ended up uh, taking him off uh, a little bit earlier. But uh, look, for me, it's great. We've got two young players there that are fighting for a position and pushing each other, and that's, I think that's very important for the team. Uh, and like I said, I think the team's going well and Lucas is doing a good job, so we'll continue the same way. Yeah, and I think um, you know, for a while there was a lot of games where Oscar was sort of scoring the, the goal when you, you were winning. Um, in recent weeks, you know, BK's really sort of come to the fore again. Um, why, why has that sort of changed, do you think, that some of the attacking midfielders are, are starting to... To, I guess, show that well, well BK scored some goals early in the season as well. Uh, there's always going to be a patch where players don't score goals and we need other players to step up and it's good. Look, we bring in our, our foreign players, our visa players to, to make the difference and at the moment they are for us uh, within the team. So, you know, otherwise we don't have visa players. We will go for the local players. If they're not going to add value or, or add a difference to the team, then there's no point in having visas. And for us, it's very important that they, they do add value and they're doing that at the moment and hopefully they continue that way. So the, the information is there for them 
them uh, to go out there and perform and hopefully they can go do it to the best of their ability. Yeah, and do you think the, the front four um, imports, they complement each other well? Because they all seem like very different players with, with different attributes. Yeah, you want different attributes. You don't want the same players. Uh, you can't have 11 generals. It has to be, you know, a general and a few soldiers that are willing to do the work around, you know, Zawada. Uh, is a vocal point for us, or a focal point for us, sorry, uh, and, and Baldy plays underneath him uh, to support, and then we've got two ball players that can create opportunities and get ourselves in those positions, and also our fullbacks play a massive role in, in giving us the width, and, and then I say that where you have two sixes that need to cover the ground and win us a lot of balls for that to happen, and then I go all the way to our central defenders that start the build-up and make those decisions of where the ball needs to go. So, you know, it's a, it's a balance. Uh, you can't, like I said, you can't have all the same players. You want to... You you want players that can work off each other and have that balance within the team. Because does that help too in terms of the opposition can't just mark one player? You know, maybe if we see United had tried to mark Zavada, then it opens up a lot of space in the midfield, which seemed to be the case. Well, I think the way that we set up uh, makes that happen anyway. Uh, you know, with the, with the lines that we have and the, in the shape that we play, if they start to push through, that means there's space in between lines. If they start to step in, then that means there's more space in the top line. So, you know, the way that we set up, I think, influences opponent. And they need to make decisions whether they step out and open up spaces or they try to hold and block spaces. So I think that the setup of the way that we play uh, makes makes it more difficult for the opposition. Yeah, and I understand you had some travel issues coming home? Uh, stock standard, uh, it's normal. Uh, at the moment, obviously, with, with airlines and stuff like that. So we uh, obviously we had a storm uh, as we uh, travelled back to Sydney from uh, Tasmania and our flight was cancelled, so we spent an extra day in uh, in Sydney, unfortunately, and then we had to fly back the next day. Yeah, because um, has that been disruptive at all? Like, obviously, this was the week that you were coming back to New Zealand after being in Australia. Yeah, we, we, we had to modify what we did this week with the boys. Uh, they seemed a little bit tired uh, after sitting at the airport probably for over 12 hours. Uh, so we modified what we did with, with this week with the boys just to make sure they're fresh for the game. Okay, so it was actually like you were at the airport the well, we spent probably like five, six hours uh, at the airport, uh, getting the flight cancelled. Then we obviously had to travel back out to West Sydney with the hotel that they put us up in, uh, and then travel back the next day, and then even wait for that flight because it wasn't on time. And then finally we got back into, I think, uh, Wellington was 8 p.m., something like that, uh, the next day. So, like I said, we had to modify. The boys were a little bit tired from, from more from more sitting down uh, in a seat and, and waiting to get on a flight. So, we, like I said, we modified and make sure we're fresh and the boys uh, feel good. So that's the main thing. Yeah, and do you have a more specific target for when Clayton might be back? I think we're initially April 1st, we're thinking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fingers crossed. Okay. It was very specific. Yeah, well, <laughs> physio gives us specific <laughs> details, so we go off him. Yeah. Uh, the Mariners, how do you feel you match up? against them they're obviously flying high. I think it's a good challenge. I think they're a very good side. Uh, they're a difficult side uh, to play against. They, they load the front line uh, with a lot of players. So, you know, it, it, may, it pins you back as a team at times. But I think uh, if we start the way we did uh, our home game against them, I thought the first half we were quite good. We pinned them back into their half even when they had the ball. Uh, I thought the boys pressed quite well. So we'll try to do that again. Uh, they're playing at home. Obviously, they want to win uh, for us. They might pressure us a little bit more playing at home, but uh, look, that's it's great for us. That means there'll be more spaces uh, in other areas and the boys need to make the right decisions. And it feels like we've been saying it every week. It's a, it's a big game, but given <laughs> that if you win, you join them. Second, if you lose, you might get drop out of the top six. Yeah, look, it's it's a, it's a, it's it's the, the table's so tight. You win one game, you go up, and if you lose one game, you can fall out of the six. So, so we'll go there to, to set up to win and hopefully get a good result. But look, at the end of the day, for us, uh, you know, if we lose, it's not the end of it. We've still got a few more games to, to play within the season, but the idea is there to go and win. Cool.